resources, inspiring interviews, business practices, and practical advice to take your art career to the next level. Join Sergio Gomez in today's Artist Next Level and get ready to take control of your career. Well, hello, my Next Level friend. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Artist Next Level podcast. This is a special edition episode in which I am interviewing artists from around the world as they are stuck at home during the coronavirus lockdown. I'm here with my friend, Caroline Carp. Uh, she's joining us all the way from Safety Harbor in Florida. Caroline, welcome to the show. This is a special edition that you know that we are doing with artists from around the world. And it's great to see you here. I know you from the Annex Level Academy, and uh, we have interacted before as well in some of our live sessions that we do and things like that. But uh, it's so uh, it's kind of nice to uh, be able, through this technology, you know, chat with artists from all around the world. And today we are chatting with you, Caroline. So uh, first of all, welcome. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here and, and happy to be joining you on this program. So, Caroline, first, uh, let's talk a little bit about, you know, the situation where you're at as we all kind of going through this. Uh, how is the situation for you right in Safety Harbor in Florida? So, Safety Harbor is a community that is, is kind of bordered by Clearwater, Florida and Tampa. Okay. Um, and we've kind of been two weeks, not inside, but two weeks where I haven't, like, driven over the bridge to Tampa to work and... Um, we're able to go to the grocery store if we need to. I think I'm going to start ordering my groceries in, though. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, you know, it's a little bit odd being out. Um, uh, we can walk our dogs, you know, and mm -hmm. go for walks. When we go out for a walk, people are, you know, kind of making a little bit of distance for each other. But it is kind of a social time because you can say hi to your neighbors. And mm -hmm. I'm fortunate to live really close to the water, so mm. you know, I'm still able to bring in the nature and beauty. And it's actually um, beautiful in my very own backyard. So I feel very, very fortunate to still, you know, be able to fill that, that mm -hmm. part of me that I love, which is being outside. Right. So Caroline, let's talk a little bit about, you know, how this whole, uh, you know, situation has affected you as an artist and how are you also adapting to uh, this, uh, you know, this, this reality that we're all living? I'm, I've become strangely energized by it. Mm. Tell us about it. Love and I think, I think that's because um, most oftentimes on the forefront of my mind is how do I get out there? How do I get out into the community to um, be a part of the community, to be seen as an artist? And now mm -hmm. um, I've been working on my online presence now for two or three years. So it, it's been kind of a, a natural transition to mm. um, more be reaching out to uh, mm -hmm. people through online. Um, I am also a teacher okay. and it's been kind of interesting moving my class all to online. So um, every day at 10 in the morning, I have Miss Caroline's Zoom room and it's super <laughs> cute. I have six students and okay. we interact and um, uh, do little lessons together. So that's been a nice connection piece to watch them connect with one another and me connect with them. Um, another thing that I'm doing, so that might turn into an online course. Wonderful. Um, I've, I've also been connecting with other artists, and uh, we're currently um, putting together an online collective, I would say. It so might be an exhibition, might be a collective. We're still coming up with a name. We have about okay. 20 artists. Wow, that's amazing. I know, and it's, it's kind of fun to connect with people literally all around the globe mm -hmm. um so it it is energizing me i'm still working on my bodies of work um mm -hmm. i really do like to dedicate the time to that mm -hmm. um and do some of the things that maybe get put on the back burner like i don't know wiring my pieces varnishing my pieces right going into my website making sure that you know it's it, it says what i want it to say mm -hmm. um, connecting on social media so right now, I'm kind of energized by it. I love that. And I think, uh, you, you know, you said something super interesting, right? Normally, I'm uh, actually in my episode, like telling people, hey, go out more, you know, connect more, network, be seen, right, right. be remembered, right? That's kind of like tell everyone that now it's kind of like, now it's the opposite, right? Stay home uh, more, 
Um, but we're still able, as you said, uh, to connect. And actually, even I think the relationships that we are forming uh, will even be strengthened as when this whole thing is over, because you know we we will pass this uh, and um, we will get out on the other side. And for those of us who are spending time, you know, in those relationships and working on those, you know, I think those those that time that we're spending uh, distancing, but also connecting will yield also wonderful relationships and working partnerships, I believe, really wholeheartedly in the future, you know, as we pass Absolutely. this season. And one of my visions for 2020 was actually to collaborate with other artists. Amazing. So, boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> so <laughs> tell me a little bit, how is that happening? You know, how did this kind of uh, uh, artist collaboration idea well, began? How, how the artists kind of started connecting? Well, it actually started happening uh, through the Artist Next Level. So um, okay. it all initiated there. And then we started um, an engagement group. Probably it was still during uh, the Small Works Challenge. Mm -hmm. And so we engaged with each other. And then I, I had this idea of, uh, I just was kind of like called to um, collaborate with them. Yeah. And our initial name, we're still working on it, but it was yeah. kind of as the world turns, it's sort of because it is a global thing. Mm -hmm. And um, even though everybody's work is so different, mm -hmm. what we have in common mm -hmm. is kind of, kind of what we're going through, although that's not what the show is about. Mm -hmm. But it's more of an online collective where um, we want to be visible and, and be of service and have, you know, mm -hmm. beautiful things to look at because you know, artwork can be like a visual anchor that mm -hmm. can pull people out of fear and into a place of love and delight. Right. So right. Um, that's kind of how that came about. That's and wonderful. Another thing, yeah. another thing that's interesting is that, um, so my artwork was in two different shows mm -hmm. in my community. Okay. That both of them, the receptions were canceled or I wasn't mm -hmm. able to go to. And so what's really nice is, those curators are now bringing those shows online. Mm -hmm. So that's another opportunity that comes from this because had it not right. been like that, I might not have um, had that kind of exposure. The exposure, yeah. As you uh, also work as an artist, you know, how do you think this, this may be also, um, are we going through uh, affect or, or maybe inspired in new ways the work that you produce? Uh, I'm... I'm going to continue uh, kind of on the track that I'm on, which is um, I have mixed media art, and then I also have more serious acrylic and oil paintings. But when I work on my mixed media art, it kind of brings in imagination and a whimsy. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of fun to see what I create from that and kind of what kind of happens in the world around me. So... Uh, I could go into that imaginative world a little bit more now mm -hmm. that I'm, um, you know, maybe, I don't know, creating things that I, in my, in my dream world. Well, that's wonderful, Karen. I thank you so much for sharing your work. Uh, do you have a couple of words of advice for, maybe there are some of our artist friends who are watching right now who maybe want to also start a group with, uh, with other artists or, uh, you know, they might want to uh, kind of create a community of artists of their own. Uh, a couple of words of advice from your experience of what you have been doing also with other artists that can help them kind of maybe to get started uh, and uh, yeah. th things to think about. Um, well, the first place that I started gathering my group of artists or I was actually gathered in was um, um, Instagram. So okay. maybe you follow some other artists on Instagram as well as Good Facebook. Point. And if you go into the chat section, you can reach out to other artists and see who wants to be part of a group. I think we started Facebook and then um, went over into Instagram. Okay. And um, the artists don't necessarily have to be doing your same style. Mm -hmm. um, it would be more of um, just artists that are reaching out for some kind of connection. Hmm. Wonderful. That's great. And I think right now there's a lot of artists who you know, are reaching out, then we are all reaching out to each other. And that's actually what, what this show is about. <laughs> well, Caroline, uh, you've been so awesome today. Thank you so much for sharing uh, your you. uh, experience, what you're going through. We wish you well. Now, tell our friends, where can they find you on social media and your website? They would like to see also the beautiful work that you create. Okay. 
on Instagram, it's Caroline, C-A-R-O-L-I-N-E underscore carp, K-A-R-P underscore artist. And my website is carolinecarpartist.com. So you can find me actually on all the social media platforms, Caroline Carp Artist. Easy to find. And uh, yes. whatever you see those beautiful sceneries with the, with the uh, sailboats, you know, that will be you. <laughs> well, okay. thank you, Caroline, for being with us here today. Uh, we hope that, that you have an awesome day. Please uh, be safe, stay home. Uh, we want to also uh, wish all our friends a great day today. Please share this episode with your friends as well. And if you're trying to connect with others, please reach out. Reach out to Caroline too if you connected with her message. And I will see you in the next episode of this special edition of Refer with Sergio. Have a great day. Goodbye. Thank you so much, Sergio. Thank you, Caroline. Bye-bye. Check out our website at www.theartistnextlevel.com where you will find our podcast library, learn about our upcoming webinars, find resources relevant to your career, and much more. Thanks for listening to today's podcast, and we'll see you at the next level.